I guess it's my job to grade this roster, right? Sure. Well, give us give us what you got. I mean, let's let's see see the umbrella open up. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. I'm giving this a very solid B. Okay. There are only nine players in this group that went to the World Cup. That is one less than the ten that that the U.S. is getting. However, the Mexican players that are coming played much bigger roles, of course. right, at the World Cup. You got Henry Martin, you got Alexis Vega. There's two of your starting front three right there. Yep. You got Luis Chavez, who... Scored a goal. 99 out of 100 people would tell you was Mexico's best player at the World I Cup. I told you he'd be the breakout player in June. And you got guys like Nestor Araujo, Jesus Gallardo, who has much as you want to criticize them, certainly had their roles, had their value to the team in Qatar. So it's a team that has not just World Cup players like the U.S., but World Cup starters. So to me, it's a pretty solid team. The other reality here is the reality of Mexican football. There's just not that many players in Europe, right? Of the 26 guys that went to Qatar, there were only nine, Herc, that were in Europe. So you take that nine out, it's not an A team, but I can't knock it down to a C. I have to give this a very solid B team for Mexico. Oh, so a very solid B team for Mexico mm -hmm. playing mm -hmm. in a very pro Mexican national team venue mm -hmm. that will be Arizona. Mm -hmm. Like, I, There's no doubt in my mind mm -hmm. it's going to be close to 90, if not more, percent Mexican national mm -hmm. team fans there. They should mop the floor with this U.S. men's national team, D team, as you put it. Yes, that will be the expectation. I believe the word is obligados, no? Yes. Now, Obligados implies that there's going to be some consequence afterwards. I don't think you should ever obligate a B team, first of all, especially when it's a B team not due to injury, but because you're making a cash grab. Uh, and second of all, when it's, you know, first few games of a new manager. I don't think that's fair to the players, and it's definitely not, not fair to the manager. But will there be massive criticism? Are they huge favorites? Yes, Mexico is a huge favorite over this U.S. team. There's no other way to look at it. It's B team versus D team. That's still a huge gap. We said Mexico's A team was a favorite over the U.S. C team, right? Yep. It's basically the same thing. You say it's not obligados, and it may not be for you, the press, and you, the fan. No, for the press and the fans, well, but no, not, in, not the, really, Herc. Well, There's not really an obligation. You're no, not going to no, fire Coca. Let me, let me finish. Let me finish. It's not an obligation for the press or the fans. But it is an obligation for Diego Coca, for him. <clears throat> Think about this for a second. Diego Coca is the guy who's, playing, who's paying the price for Tata Martino's mistakes, the heir of Tata Martino's ways before he was there. But if the Mexican national team does not win this game, it'll be the fifth game in a row they've not beaten the U.S. men's national team. And they will not beat the U.S. men's national team versus a very weekend, you just said, D team. Mm -hmm. You, could you imagine the immense pressure yes. that Diego Coca and the Mexican yes. national team would be heading into the CONCACAF Nations League final yes. or semifinal? Excuse me, semifinal, not even final, semifinal in Las Vegas if they don't get a result, a favorable result versus this version of the U.S. men's national team. So that's yeah. why Obligados, mm -hmm. I think he's Obligado because of the yeah. repercussions for him personally. Nobody's saying he's going to get fired, but he's going to put himself in a position yeah. where... It's his back against the wall and unneeded pressure for his team heading into a game that he shouldn't be in, a position he shouldn't be in, a semifinal versus the States. I like that point. Beyond the rivalry, there is something at stake here in terms of the buildup of pressure ahead of the Nations League. It's a little release valve, right? If exactly. you get this win, even if it's against a D, you know, you can hang it up there, a victory over the United States. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.